Hello Scorpios, welcome back to Enigma Scorpio channel. I will be using some uh, the cards that I have been using for personal readings. Let's see what messages do we get from these cards. Okay, and I've shuffled them enough. They are a bit, bit hard to shuffle up, uh, now because uh, there's a little bit of wear and tear. Okay, let me see Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or Mercury, Sun, Scorpio plus Cross Watchers or non-Scorpio. Let's see the messages. Okay, let's see. If you want to go for a more private, accurate readings with me, you can reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram or email. All the details are down below in the description box. I see that you've just left a past behind. You've just left someone that was just into you for some fun i feel you've left this person behind they could be very attracted to you still but you're not looking for uh something short term but this person you put them in no contact okay they are trying to communicate with you but you've closed the chapter you're like no it's over i'm not going to allow this on and off energy once again in my life i'm done i'm very clear about it this could be an aries sagittarius leo or a pisces but they're still trying to make a move towards you but this person is not looking for some commitment as of now i'm not seeing anything serious coming from this person's end so you have closed this chapter for you it is done okay so ended and you're moving towards a positive transformation right now you're going to meet someone new this is a going to be a fated meeting but first you have to be completely single some of you just loving being um, alone okay you are also planning on traveling you meet someone while traveling as well i feel like um, you um scorpio are right now loving the me time okay you're spending time alone i'm also seeing not just being alone is uh fun for you you right now also very guarded you're not open to accepting new love offers so some of you not all but i feel like you're meant to meet someone while traveling and it's destined no matter okay no matter what happens you're going to meet this person whoever this is that's meant to come into your life let us see when this is going to happen how this is going to happen but i can strongly sense that it is completely enigma right now you have no idea universe doesn't want to give you a clear picture because this is a general message and too many people watching this need to have their own uh idea of how you guys will meet so universe wants to keep it as a mystery for you okay but there is someone definitely out there that is coming into your life that is unknown you haven't met this person they might be living in a different place i feel like right now you're just being a little guarded but there is someone new that you will be meeting you have no idea who this person is but it's just that you guys were destined to meet and go forward with this person okay who is coming into your life scorpio okay this is someone that is very very slow they're not the person that takes abrupt decisions they're also careful at each point in their life because they have just started growing in in their career they've started making money or they are learning practicing they're growing and they don't want to get themselves distracted by um too many things in their life so you have literally ignited you will ignite that excitement in this person that they want to get to know you but who are you they are taking it slow to get to know you building confidence towards you because this person could be in a distant land because as you travel i see the page of pentacles you see there's land behind the ten of swords i'm seeing there will be a uh, separation between the two of you in the month of october you guys will meet in september or august or you guys may meet in october and in few days like in 10 days you guys will stop talking to each other this is what i see and that will hurt you because maybe it's someone else that's the message from the universe it's someone else that's going to come into your life right so you're not going to hold on to things this is one message from the universe that is coming to me because it's a mystery who is coming where from where and how it's all going to work out for you but it will work out for you whether with this person or someone new i am seeing a um, possibility of them reaching out to you once again i feel there will be a period of stagnancy when this person is taking too much time and there's a sudden ending uh, because you're not able to trust them okay and when there will be an ending 
I'm not even saying trust based. It's just more like someone gives up. Okay, you give up and both of you are feeling disconnected all of a sudden and then after i'm seeing there's going to be someone changing their mind and coming towards the other person so i'm seeing there's not a final ending here there's um a communication that's going to start all over again there's going to be a reunion a proper one because i feel like this person is someone that will keep stalking you even when you guys are in separated mode or this is someone that is still stalking you and is wanting to make a comeback. So it can also happen that you guys are not talking for uh, two to three months. And then suddenly in October, you see this person reaching out to you with a fresh new start. And I feel they want to know you. They want to get to know you. This could be strong Pisces, a Sagittarius energy. You're going to like this person's energy this time when they come back around. But they will be taking some time because they have been in this helpless energy recently. I feel like when you meet this person, they're going through something. I feel the second time when you guys meet, there's going to be fast forward movement. There's going to be a lot of growth between the two of you. I'm seeing there's going to be a lot of communication between the two of you. They will get to know you more deeply. You will get to know this person more deeply. And something will emerge out of this relationship. So I feel it's not over yet. That's the energy that I hear loud and clear because you guys were meant to meet. Okay. You guys may be very different from each other, but you were meant to meet. You can see this is a wand energy. This is a cup energy. It's like you both are very different from each other. Okay. Looking for everything so different. They want something different. You want something different, but somehow you guys are so attached with each other. It's like poles apart, but then you guys connect on a deep level. Okay, I'm also seeing you can meet this person in a group in a, where there are a lot of other people in a social place in your society, in their society. This is someone that is at a very different place because I see the change here. Okay. So yes, I'm seeing you're going to change your place. Okay, whoever this is, I'm seeing they could be very well off or successful. Let me see your career. What is your career going to be, Scorpio? Scorpio's career, please. Yeah, just go with the flow. You may be taking some uh, risk uh, when it comes to starting something new, a new career, a new business opportunity. I'm seeing you taking a big risk about it. And you're very excited about it. But there will be growth in your career because you love taking risk. And you see you're getting the same uh you know in return like whatever efforts you've been putting you're getting the results in return the same way so yes there's a lot of success here i'm seeing you will love doing what you're doing you love taking risks you're a rebellious nature but your hard work will pay off for sure but it all depends upon how much efforts you're putting if you don't put efforts you don't see results it's as simple as that so you may have to work harder okay from august onwards I'm seeing for the next eight months, you will be working harder to get to the point where you want to be. Okay, so hard work without that, nothing. So in this case, yeah, sometimes you feel really stressed out because you're the only one taking, you know, all the responsibilities. You might be at a position where you are managing, okay, or where you are independently working and you're tired and you really need someone to be there for you. So you have to be strong is what I see right now. What else in love is coming into your life? Crossroads. Okay. You're going to attract someone that will be too confused and has options. Or you will be too confused and has options. But you, you guys will still take a chance on each other. Initially... Yes, I'm also seeing this person has been hurt in the past by someone. That is why they are too closed off and they have a fear of being hurt again. This gives them severe anxiety. That's the main reason you will see this person being on and off initially. Someone definitely has some fears and anxiety because of their past experience, which is why you may feel this person is too slow and that can lead to a temporary breakup. I see that very clearly. But this person will definitely... Um, push things and retry and this time they will come towards you with honest approach that's how i see this okay so initially it will be like that 
but trust me you will only attract someone that will end up loving you like crazy because you know you, what you deserve okay so yes i'm seeing someone that you're attracting is having some issues from the past and you will you guys will be like best friends and the way you both are going to be connecting with each other is more on a friendship level it's not something that i would say is on a physical level it's more like you guys need each other like best friends you guys give each other great guidance and then slowly it'll turn into something really serious and yeah you guys will have strong intimacy strong connection with each other let go of control issues this person is controlling their desire you're controlling your desire you expect something else they something else you both have very different experience from each other so you you have to be sensitive and kind towards each other you're about to attract your soulmate this could be your soulmate whoever this is that's coming towards you what else do i need to know for the soulmate coming in scorpio's life right down the comment section i claim my soulmate coming into my life i told your soulmate is super sensitive someone has hurt them okay they have a kind heart they have a big heart this person could have been their childhood friend and that is why they're so stressed out and this person is alone they're enjoying their freedom for now but also a part of them is just like broken you can even meet this person in an institute in a school okay they might be going for a higher learning they could be younger than you expect a message from this person coming anytime in the near future when we see and who is this person how is this going to happen give it like three three weeks or three days time and this person is gonna come towards you travel towards you meet you is also what i see in three months or three weeks but there is a fear again that's what i see the fear of being deceived by you the fear of being hated or disliked by you or being manipulated by you because someone has been heavily manipulated guys so that is what is happening here scorpio so yeah there is going to be a lot of um hurt that you will see this person is talking about i don't know but i'm seeing this happening anything else that i need to tell my scorpios okay let me see what else is going to happen with my scorpio they also have this feeling like you're 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 smart you're very smart and you could manipulate them <laughs> who are you dealing with they are highly sensitive okay this person has been still stalking and spying on you but it's taking too slow to open up they have been hurt they are very 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 guarded this could be someone that's coming you're about to meet very quiet and closed off energy they have hardships in their life and they travel a lot i'm also seeing with the ten of wands they're trying to get out of something they're traveling because they're trying to get over the past some sort of a major issue something they're trying to forget okay so they're traveling and that's how you guys will meet okay it could also involve some community like group of people where you meet but yes um uh, page of swords this person will be very inquisitive observant of you initially they will take their time a lot because they're still having a fresh wound in their heart but this is someone that that is very like strong at the same time okay and is going to come out of this very soon because they are having dreams and ambitions they want to grow they want to be successful they don't just do not want to waste their time with the wrong person because they have their own choices and own dreams and passions in their life with the sun i'm seeing a new beginning is happening between the two of you this could be a leo that you're attracting a cancer that you're attracting this person definitely has cancer in their chart strongly strongly okay so i'm seeing you're their happiness and you will help this person heal with your stability with your honesty with a groundedness with a nurturing habit towards them with a nurturing uh love okay this person will keep thinking about meeting you again and again you guys will evolve expand in love and when you walk away this person's going to go crazy okay so they will be always afraid of i feel like it there will be time when you might feel like i've done enough and i'm walking away that's when this person will open up their heart to you it's going to be a little tough because this person is tough okay okay so the knight of cups and the ten of cups this is someone that will end up opening up their heart to you because of you this person will be like uh, more alive more lively more happier they want to settle down with you they want to get married to you i feel there's a happy ending with whoever it is i'm seeing it will take time with this person to 
you know, finally break the ice with them. But the Knight of Cups is definitely talking about them coming towards you. The deep proposal with a shocking, unexpected proposal you've never expected. Okay. And this is going to happen. Where in Amethyst to bring this into fruition? Okay. This will really help you connect with your intuition and what this person is or going to think about you. There might be some unnecessary worry. So keep an Amethyst with you. You can also keep this uh pencil wand with you okay so this is really going to help so i'm seeing a lot of purple which means that an amethyst is going to do wonders for you like it'll definitely help you connect with your intuition and know what is going on on the other side so that you can reduce your stress and worries what else scorpio Okay, I am seeing, hold your vision, stay focused. Wherever you were in the past, stay where you were in the past. Don't disconnect yourself from your dreams, your focus, your passion. Do what you were doing and stay where you are and stay happy, okay? If this doesn't work out, someone else will come in. But you have to stay in your own lane. This is what I see. Scorpio, yeah, someone that is too frustrating. I feel there's someone that is not opening up and closed off. I'm seeing that closed off energy coming from it, especially this person, not you. So you need some time, yes. But the moment they realize you're the one that brings them the happiness and healing in their life, you'll see how love, how much love they're gonna have for you. I feel you came into their life to bring spiritual, um, you know spiritual growth spiritual upgradation in their life so you have no idea but you're going to move towards extreme happiness and success a lot of things are changing in your life this person could be an aries they could be a taurus they could be um virgo and one more please okay we have aquarius so yeah these are the most probable signs what are the messages from the universe and i'm going to see this one also Give me a message for Scorpio. Hmm. The message is no. Look for a sign. And then I'm seeing. Oh, wow. Yeah, if this person is showing you some red flags that they're not interested, take it. Okay, accept it. So you will definitely get guidance with amethyst like wear an amethyst bracelet you can get it from me but i'm definitely seeing that it's not what it looks like that's all i have to say and you will see a lot of signs from the universe and chronicities from the universe confirming your things that you're thinking about meditation will help you connect with this person on a telepathic level there are certain people around you that are toxic negative so sabotage avoid those people okay i feel like this person is going to come towards you first to fall in a very toxic negative manner and then slowly uh you know remove all the um layers okay and show their playful side and you will be happy they're little kid inside and i feel like this person is very right now detached or distracted and they feel like they're attracted to someone, okay? That is, they're lovesick. They're attracted to someone that is not as good as they feel they are, okay? All that glitters is not gold. This person is holding on to those, uh, that person. Okay, what else is going to happen between you and your soulmate? Okay, so... It's not about being right or wrong. Just go with the flow. That's it. Because I'm seeing this person's not going to leave you anytime soon. They're coming. Okay. Or this is someone completely new that you're about to meet. So they might be coming with a random uh, feeling initially. And then you will see how things change. Only time will tell. You never know how things grow. Some of you might meet someone new while you're dealing with this person. You will be more attracted to the other person. So it all depends. So take it easy. Wait for the right time. For some of you, it is the same person. For some of you, it is, it is the new person. But the person is 
that you're going to be with is your soulmate so i'm seeing it's time for you to disconnect from any kind of person giving you negative vibes or negative energy because right now they're in this flirtatious energy and is not fit for you but yes keep an open mind you never know this person comes back honest and changed there will be a heart to heart conversation between the two of you when they come back and this time they will be very positive and they will be sure about this so that's about it i hope you enjoy this wonderful read scorpio do like share comment and subscribe come back for more see you back again with more stuff bye